Hi, my name is Felix Kolmer. I'm one of the co-founders of CloudRail. And today I'll show you how you can easily connect industrial assets to IoT Central within minutes. So let me show you how it works. This is our demo setup for today. We've got the CloudRail box, which is an industrial edge gateway. It's basically connected to the cloud, to the internet through this wire. And to the other port, you can either connect to modern assets through industry standards like OPC UA, or for older machines, you can basically use the concept of secondary sensors or retrofitting with secondary sensors to basically get data for your industrial IoT project. So the idea is you take sensors, additional sensors, and basically mount them on existing assets. So this, for example, is a vibration sensor from IFM. This one is a temperature sensor from IFM as well. This is a pressure sensor from Turk. Uh, here we've got a laser distance sensor, which is not yet connected, a tower light. So really typical industrial sensors. They all go into this I.O. module and from there into the CloudRail box. The system basically works with all kinds of industrial sensors. So over 12,000 models are supported. So I'll bet you find a suitable sensor for you, your use case as well. Setup, super simple. You just take the components, you plug them all together, you scan a QR code, and that's it. So no coding, no local configuration. You just take the components and it's all plug and play. So imagine we've just scanned the QR code and that QR code takes us into the so-called device management cloud. Here we see the device management cloud. It's basically a software as a service application. So you just create an account, you log in, you connect your gateways, and then they all appear here. You see some online, offline, potential errors, firmware versions, so a single device management overview. What we do now is we click on the connection. Then, as I said, we can either connect to OPC UA sources, so like modern PLCs, for example, or use secondary sensors to retrofit existing assets, what we do now. So I just click here, then I see the I.O. module with eight ports. I see the sensors being connected. And I showed earlier, I've got this laser distance sensor, which is not yet connected. So what I will do now is just plug it in. So I just connected it and a few seconds later, uh, it should appear here in the device management cloud. Yep, here it is. So plug and play works exactly the same for any kind of industrial sensor out there. So you just select it, click next, basically define an interval. So I want to have data once per second in the cloud. Click next. Then I can choose the target. So for Azure, we can either connect into IoT Hub, we can connect into IoT Central, or we can connect into an IoT Edge instance, which optionally runs on the CloudTrail box itself. But for now, we do Central. So just click here, um, select my credentials, device a name, and hit Create. What the system does in the background now is basically calling the Central API, adding a new device with the name distance and also providing all the semantic information for that respective sensor using a PNP model. So now Central basically knows what the sensor does, its capabilities. So this is done now. And what I do is I jump back into IoT Central. So here I'm in IoT Central, already created a little dashboard. And if I go into devices, uh, a new device just appeared called Distance. If I click on it, I already see data coming in. Central knows it's a distance sensor, the unit is centimeters, and yeah, like I said, already see data. Let's go ahead and connect another one. And this time we use an actuator. So I'll jump back, go to the box overview, click on your connection again, again, directly connected sensors. And this time use this stack light here, so the tower light. Uh, just select it, click next, uh, run through the process very quick, give it a name, and hit create. Same process again, 
adding the device, including its PNP model, so the capabilities of that respective device. And once that's done, we can go back into central, go back into devices, and there we see a new device called light. And this time we have commands available, so we can do something like segment links and segment links in blue. And once we hit run, we basically see how the light actually starts blinking blue. All right, so that's how easy it is to connect sensors to the cloud. But as you've seen, you can also connect actuators and control them right through IoT Central. Yeah, that's CloudRail in a nutshell. If you want to learn more, check out cloudrail.com and let me know if you have questions. Thank you.